What's up, guys? Just going to give you all a uh, little update on my myself, my business, and do my 2020 lawn care setup. I've had a, it's been a good year. I think it's been a good year for a lot of lawn care guys. It's been a little bit rough for me. I've had a lot of uh, health problems and stuff going on. Late last year, my back actually went out on me. It started spasming real bad, and I had to miss a week of work before it got better. It kind of messed my sciatic nerve up for a bit. The sciatic nerve don't bother me so much now, but I still have back and hip problems. But uh, one of the biggest problems I've had this year is I broke my ankle back in 2013 and I sprained it twice this year. And the first time was pretty bad. I had to actually skip some yards that I was doing that day when I heard it. I had to wait a few days before I could get them finished let my ankle heal up. The second time it wasn't nearly as bad, but it still didn't, certainly didn't help nothing. But, uh, so I've had some health problems and issues and whatnot, but uh, I've also had a lot of equipment issues. My main mower, my X540 garden tractor, I've put a lot of money in this machine this year to keep it going because it's it's got almost 1,100 hours on it and it's just getting to the point where things start breaking. I've Put, let's see if I can think of it all off the top of my head. I put a new seat on it. I put fluid and uh, tubes in all four tires. I put a new throttle cable on it. I put new deck lift arms, trunnions all the way around, front draft arm, belts, new deck wheels all the way around, and the front two deck wheel brackets are brand new. I might as well replace the rear one sometime soon, but I haven't yet. But uh, I've done all that to it. There's probably one or two other things I can't remember. But uh, it's just basic stuff where it's just got so many hours on it, it's just getting wore down and then stuff needs replaced. But uh, it's been a little aggravating because of it being broke down. But uh, I've started running two mowers i've ran two mowers with my helpers and whatnot a number of times so far this year but uh i have i don't know if you all have ever seen it or not i've got a gt 235 48 inch garden tractor that i got for free from a co-worker i've been using it as a main backup mower and i also earlier this year got a uh, gt 1554 Cup Cadet for free from one of my customers. I gave it to my aunt, but I've used it now two or three times because my main mower has been broke down. But uh, as far as business and myself wise, that's about it. I did drop a customer. I've gained a lot, but I dropped on Get out of here. I've gained quite a few customers, but I dropped one is a push mow only yard, and I got rid of it because it's just too difficult on my back and stuff to just too difficult on my back and stuff to really keep it up. But uh, I'm gonna talk about my all my handheld equipment, all the stuff you see behind me and whatnot, or a lot of the stuff you see behind me, and uh, my new trailer, and a uh, number of different things go over here and uh, show you what I've done and what I've got. I'm filming this on a laptop using the webcam so hopefully you all will be able to see everything it should. I mean it's a pretty wide picture so I'll try to go over everything and uh, so y'all can see it well and everything but uh, here's my setup as it sets. I've been I'm going to start keeping it in the garage all the time, just keep everything loaded, just batter off that way. But uh, this is the new trailer. It is a PT brand I got from O'Quinn Trailers in Norton, Virginia. 14 foot by 76 inches wide, tandem axle. It's got one axle as a brake axle, 7,000 pound capacity. There's my X540 that y'all have seen before. There's the GT-235 y'all may not have seen before. Same old toolbox as what my old trailer had. I just took it off put it on there. My wheel chalk tie downs. 
are Ericsson brand. I found them on Amazon. I haven't like used them in the field. I actually just got them mounted yesterday, but they seem to be very nice uh, tie downs. But uh, this is the same FS111R is what I've had for the last few years. I did take the handle off of it and put a Darwin's grip on it. I absolutely love that Darwin's grip with my back problems and whatnot. If it wasn't for the Darwin's grip and a uh, back brace, I'd barely be able to do any weed eating. <coughs> then there's my FS55 on top. The weed eater in the middle I got new last year is a KM131R, the combi unit, as you can see. I'll go over the attachments in a little bit. This is a brand new this year Sure Cage. My old one, I actually lost this part. I still got it. I'm gonna try and actually just make re I'm gonna try and just remake that part. But uh, the same old Sure Can as what I had. Thanks again, Ben. My blower is the same old blower. Well, I say my, but it appears it don't belong to me. <laughs> I like that sticker but uh, I've got this rack I used to use just a milk crate to keep my blower in I never did trust it but I never had no problems with it but I got this Byers brand multi-tool rack for my blower I've got a Byers uh, cooler rack and a Byers gas can rack and I just run generic gas cans just like Midwest cans and stuff like that <clears throat> I have the Harbor Freight Fisher brand mower lift. That is an absolute beast of a mower lift. I love it. This refrigerator, now you all may be wondering why I'm showing the refrigerator. Well, it comes in handy keeping your drinks cold when you're out, you know, when you need them to go mowing and stuff. I got this refrigerator for free. I did a junk removal job and the lady gave me the refrigerator and it works perfect. But I use that igloo cooler all the time on my cooler rack if I have if I need more water I've got that big cooler up there but uh, this is new this year I do a lot of spraying and I bought this at a local farm store I don't even know what brand it is it's a 15 gallon uh, 12 volt sprayer and I made the little thing that it goes on it follows behind my mower with the caster wheels, it falls perfectly behind it, so it works pretty good. And then for chainsaws, I don't do a whole lot of chainsaw work, especially through the summer, but I've got a MS-171, a MS-181, a MS-310, and a Poland 1020 Woodsman, or something like that, I can't remember, it's like a 16 inch Poland. If you need chainsaws in your business, I paid 25 bucks for this saw and put a $25 chain on it and it's been an absolute beast. There's nothing wrong with it. This, we, this one I got for free. Later, eventually, I ended up putting a carburetor on it and that's the only thing I've done for it. So I've only got about $35 on that saw and it's a great saw. As far as handheld battery powered equipment, I go with the Bollier brand from Harbor Freight. I've got the impact wrench, the impact driver, the drill. I got an angle grinder in here, the sawzall, and a little flashlight. I've got two of the big batteries, I've got two of the smaller batteries, and I've got a, I think it's a 12 volt Milwaukee grease gun. I just bought that this year comes in very handy my push mower that I don't really use anymore I got the frame for free and you can see it's but it's not even been used enough that the front wheels ain't even wore out on it it's a front wheel drive self-propelled mulch and bag only I've got the bag up in the storeroom but I bought that motor off of Amazon for like 120 bucks runs great so really I got probably a $350 mower for like 120 bucks <clears throat> I bought this earlier this year and I've not even really used it I was wanting one so bad and then I got one I ended up not using it but uh, 
I'm going to keep it just in case I do need it or I may sell it later on. I don't know. I could probably make profit off of, off of it. I paid $700 for this, which is a very good deal. I've seen some in worse shape go for more money. But uh, I got some rakes and a pitchfork and whatnot there. I got the steel brand loppers and a uh, pi uh, pickaxe over there. I got a FS45 curve shaft weed eater. It's kind of my backup, backup weed eater. Combi attachments. I have the extension, the, well, it's really a grass trimmer. Nobody around here carries the hedge trimmer for steel combis. They carry just them grass trimmers. I don't know why, but I bought one and I've got the steel post saw attachment. But, uh, and I just got various fluids and different things. As far as, uh, oils i use steel mix oil i got these this here i thought was a good deal you get the gearbox it even comes with the thing that you can put the blades onto the gearbox and a replacement head with string in it for 35 dollars i found that on amazon but uh, a big garden hose Got my handheld sprayer right there. I got a Yukon toolbox. I'm not gonna go over everything in here, but as far as hand tools, I use cobalt ratchets and sockets. I actually love cobalt. I got more gas cans here. My The blue one, as you can see, is for mixed gas. I've got a Harbor Freight welder right there. How you like my welding cart? shopping cart I just cut the plastic off the sides of it <laughs> I've got some suitcase weights that I'll never use anymore I've used them like once then a uh, old Craftsman air compressor that I use just to pump tires up I've got a ladder hopefully y'all can see well in here it's not quite as bright I've got a generic wheelbarrow this green push mower is another, uh, we use it mainly just around the house, but uh, we got this one for free so many years ago. Runs great. And then uh, my other primary push mower, if I need one, is this Poland Pro. Another mower, or another mower I got for free. Works great. Put very little money into it. I do a little bit of small engine work. Not so much anymore as I used to. Uh, that's why all this stuff's here. A tiller, I use this tiller to make some money with. I got it for, I think, free or very little money, and I put that brand new motor on it. Works great. This is my mom's pressure washer. It's really a piece of junk, but it works. And then uh, this is my pressure washer. I ain't even used it this year, but uh, I bought the motor for something, and it didn't work out like I wanted to. So I bought the pump, the stand, and whatnot. About $300, I've got a pressure washer that would probably cost you $500 new. It's like a 3.3 gallons per minute, 3,200 PSI or something there like that. I've got a spreader that I never even used. I've got a big, long, extendable brush for doing siding, which I still ain't ever used. And I've got a snowcaster snow shovel. I've used it one time here at the house. Works great. I absolutely love that thing. Makes very quick work of our driveway. So hopefully y'all seen that well and heard me well. As far as the truck, it's the same 2006 Chevrolet 1500, 4.8 liter V8. I do have a toolbox now. I actually got that for free. I traded it with my buddy. Uh, I had a small box that came on this trailer when I bought it for like a small pickup truck. And I had a full size truck with a small box. My buddy had a full size box with a small truck. So we just traded boxes and I put it in my truck there but I still got the same old trailer it's just stripped down to nothing now I ain't got nothing on it but uh, still obviously makes for a great backup trailer if I need one but uh, that's pretty much it for my setup that I'm running for 2020 I do look to upgrade mowers I know I'm going to try and get a X758 four-wheel drive diesel garden tractor, probably 54-inch cut. 
I don't know if that'll be the only mower I get. It's gonna be toward the end of this year. And uh, I will, I'm gonna be financing it, so I'm kind of gonna be going into debt again. If I'm looking at doing this for another two or three years or a year or two or something there, I'm gonna upgrade mowers because the two that I've got now are getting to be high hours and I could just, I just need something bigger, which I'm gonna get the PTO and a three point hitch put in and I'm gonna buy a uh, four point or a four foot tiller to go on it as well. So I can make more money with it by being able to do more stuff. And a subcompact, I don't need a subcompact. They're too high, too high off the ground, too top heavy and everything else. So I don't need a subcompact tractor yet. But uh, I'm thinking about either getting just, I'm thinking about either getting just the new garden tractor and running my 540 as backup, or I'm thinking about getting the 758 in a zero turn or the 758 and buying a used 758 because you can get a used 758 for about the same price as a new zero turn. That way I can run two diesels. I like that idea, being able to run two fuel efficient mowers like that. But uh, I mean, think about doing that or possibly getting a X590 so I can have a newer, smaller garden tractor or so, I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do yet. But uh, I'm looking at getting one or two mowers toward the end of this year to go into 2021 with, in, unless things change between now and then. But uh, I'm going to be financing them, and if I can get the same deal as what I was about to get before, I almost bought a mower earlier this year, and I'm glad I didn't because what I was going to go with, I probably wouldn't have liked. I was thinking about getting a 750, which is a two-wheel drive diesel, and I think I'd be better off with a four-wheel drive. But anyway, I'm going to get if I can get them on the same financing, it's like 0% for five years or something there and zero down, I could pay it off in that time and not have to pay any interest, which would be great. But uh, I just have to see what happens later this year, how I am financially and health wise and everything and just go from there. Hopefully if I do get two bigger mowers or whatever, I can fit them all on this here trailer which I should be able to because I've got probably a foot in the back and probably another foot in the front of room with these two mowers and running two 700 series shouldn't be very big it should fit on this trailer I would think but time will tell but anyway that's my 2020 setup see y'all later